Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today, I'm going to show you how to import the Google Moon 3D into your Unreal Engine 5.1 game project. And now you can see, this is the Google Moon. And the Google already made the moon to become a 3D model. And now you already can grab it and import it into your 3D animation software. You have to grab all of these 3D meshes as a terrain. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you have to scroll down, go to my video description. Get the Google Moon 3D Grabble. Once you download it, it is a zip folder. It is a zip file. You have to extract it into your computer. What we call the Google Moon 3D Grabble. If you download it, the file name is Google Map 3D Grabble. It's same as the previous ones for the Google Map 3D. Once you open the folder, you can see the RenderDog 1.13 installer. You have to install the RenderDog 1.13 into your computer. And at the same time, you have to install the Google Chrome browser. And then you can see the Blender 3.0 with the Map Models Importer plugin. This plugin already pre-installed in this Blender 3.0 given by me. Once you're already ready to have all of this, if you already install all of this, the first step, you have to close all the browser. And then open the render dock. Click file, inject into process, type Chrome at here. Type Chrome at here, then refresh it. Then, use the render dot Google Chrome shortcut given by me to open. If you open it like this, you will see that the Google Chrome is totally blank with a conversation. At this moment, do not click. You have to click refresh on your render dot. Then, you, you should be able to see a Google Chrome GPU. Click, and then click inject. Back to the Google Chrome, click the conversation, OK. Then, your Google Chrome will start normally, but you will see some of the white text with, with black background. From your Google Chrome, access your Google Map. You have to type it here, maps.google.com, and press Enter. The first step, what you are going to do is click the layer to activate the satellite. Then, click More to make sure activate the globe view. Then close this. Then you have to scroll down until all of the space planets appear at the left hand side. Then the moon is at here. Now you can see this is the 3D moon, the Google Moon 3D. If you want to capture any of the territory, then you need the render dock. Just for example, if I want to capture this area, what you are going to do is back to your render dock. The capture after delay you set for 5 seconds. And click capture after delay, back to your Google Chrome. Then you have to keep on moving in this way for 5 seconds. Then you can see one capture safe the capture frames back to your render dot. You should be able to see this. Next. Right click and save it as demo. I'll save it on my desktop. I create a new folder here as moon01. Then the file name, I will name this as moon01 as well. Click save. This is the 3D models in RDC file formats. Next, open the Google Map 3D Grabber. Open the Blender 3.0 given by me. Activate the Blender. Then, the first step is to remove these three items. Press Delete button. Then, go to the Edit Preferences. Search for Map. You should be able to see the Maps Model Importer. You have to Make sure you tick it to activate the Maps Model Importer, then close it. Click File, 
import Google Maps capture. Now, this RDC file is on my desktop. Go to my desktop, Moon01 RDC. Now you can see the Moon territory already imported into the Blender. If you click here, then you can see all of this, what we call the textures, the material. Now, first up, I will just delete this piece and then select everything. Press Ctrl J to make it become one single mesh. Click the first one, sorry. Click the first one, drag it down, hold the shift, click the last one. Then press Ctrl J. Now it all combined as a, a single mesh. Then export it as FBX at here. Click File, Export, FBX. The path mode, you have to choose copy and highlight this button. This is to make sure all the materials and texture were embedded inside the FBX file. The FBX name, I will name this as moon zero ones as well. Click export. It is going to export it as FBX file. File, export, FBX. I not yet select the location. It is on my desktop, moon zero ones. Path mode, choose copy. And here, highlighted, moon zero one, export. You can see the FBX file already here. If you double click it, it will open by using the 3D viewer in window 10. This is the real moon's territory. You can, it can work as the terrain in your Unreal Engine. In your Unreal Engine 5.1. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import this piece of the moon territory into your Unreal Engine 5.1 and set the collision so that you can allow the player to walk on the terrain to interact with the terrain. So now, I close this first and I will close the blender without saving. The next step, I will show you how to, how to set all of this in Unreal Engine 5.1. As there are more, I will open my Unreal 5.1 editor. And I will create a, a new game project, start from beginning, a third person game project, the project name, my project 8. This is just a demo, I create it. Now the Unreal Engine 5.1 new game project is launching. You have to wait for a while. Right, this is the third person game project. Now if I try to play, you can see this is the Unreal Engine 5.1 Mana Queen. Right, this is the third person game project. And this is the content browser. By default, you can't see any of the content browser. You have to go to the window, content browser, and call out the content browser once. Under the content folder, right click to create a new folder, name this as moon. Double click in, next. Import the moon01 FBX. I right click to create a new folder, name this as moon01 as well. Then drag in the moon01 FBX file. Do not take the skeleton mesh. Then you click import all. Close. At this moment, you have to find out the, the static mesh. It is at here. The preparing shader, you have to make sure it run to 100% to finish it. Check the moon, 01. Now you can see this is a 3D model, a territory. The first step, what you are going to do is scroll down here until you see the collision. The collision preset is block or complexity. You have to change it to become use complex collision as simple. Then click save and close. Now this static mesh, if you, you utilize it, the player 
can interact and working on this terrain like this let's say now if I make it become bigger like this and I will put on the top now and this is the player start I will allow the player to drop on here this is the moon territory at this moment if I try to play now you can see now this player already dropped on the the moon surface the territory it already become a terrain in your Unreal Engine 5.1 third person game project that if you make, make it bigger make it more then the player can walk on that it is like the moon then you already successfully imported the moon's territory into Unreal Engine 5.1 to make it become a 3D scene and let your game player to work on that as a terrain. And that's all for today about my tutorial on how to import the Google Moon 3D into Unreal Engine 5.1. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing. See you!